when Quakers move from one place to another, the, the meeting that they came from will send a letter to the new meeting to say that this is a member in good standing. And so you have the receipt from the place that they left and at the, at the new meeting house that they're going to. And so you have this relationship between the two places. So you can really track over time where people have gone, which is really, really amazing. My name is Mary Crowderoof, and I live in the Germantown neighborhood of Philadelphia, and I am the curator of Quaker Collections for Haverford College. Quakers have created a lot of different types of materials over the years. Um, we started in the, um, in the late 1600s making a lot of tracts, so writing a lot um, about the faith, about theology, trying to sort of starting to figure out what is this faith, what is Quakerism. Uh, we also have a lot of anti-Quaker material, which is really cool because it really shows the development of people kind of talking back and forth to each other. I like to talk with, with students about it, like their blog posts. They're talking back and forth to each other. So that's what you get in the early 1600s. And you kind of move forward and find similar sorts of things throughout time. Um, you also have a lot of, I, to use more common vernacular, I'd say church records. So you have things like, like membership records, marriage records, marriage certificates. Um, you have minutes of the business meetings. You have committee minutes. Um, other cool things that we have are deeds uh, for meetings um, and meeting houses that, um, that people will sometimes come to us to various Quaker archives and say, our meeting is in this dispute with a township, and we need to find the original deed of the meeting house. And we think that you have it. Can we look at it? Um, things like that. Um, I also really, really love our family papers. Um, our family papers, sometimes we have generations worth of materials from, the, from a single family. And that's really, really fun to see, you know, materials from the 1600s up to the 21st century all together laid out in one collection to see who is this family over time? How have they changed and or have they changed? Are they still, is there still an essence of who they were in the beginning in that in that trend, and that I really love as well. One of the, the coolest documents that we have, one of my favorites actually, is the 1688 Germantown protest. Um, it was written here in Germantown, Philadelphia, and it was written by um, a group of Quakers who were against slavery, and they presented this petition to their monthly meeting and then to the yearly meeting, the Philadelphia yearly meeting, um, basically saying, we are against owning people, and we think that slavery is wrong. Um, and we think that everybody should, that nobody should own slaves. Something that I really, really appreciate about this protest is the funny history that we get with it. Um, I grew up in the Quaker faith where I learned about this petition as a Quaker protest against slavery. Um, I've begun to have more friends in the Mennonite community who talk about it as a Mennonite protest. And I think that that is a, one of the most amazing things because it just reminds us that this two-page document um, you have to remember the context around it. It's not just these two pieces of paper, but there's a lot more story about it. And, um, and I think that that's really true for, you can really expand that to all the materials that we have. We get this one side of it, and you really have to put it together with everything else to really understand it um, to its fullest. I'm here at Orlando Friends Meeting in Orlando, Florida, just to say thank you for watching this Quaker Speak video. We release a new video every Thursday, and you can subscribe to the project by clicking this button over here. You can see all the videos we've ever released down here. You can support the project for as little as $1 per video. That button is just below me. Thanks again. Have a great Thursday.